If you're building Power Apps, you need to understand the difference between context variables and global variables. They both allow us to store and manage data in our app, but context variables are scoped to a single screen within your app, which means they only work on the screen that they're created for. Global variables are accessible across all screens. This is useful when you want to store values and reference them across your whole app, regardless of which screen that you're on. Context variables are often referred to as local variables, so they typically start with LOC, and global variables typically start with GLB. Regardless of which naming convention you choose, the important thing is you have a way to differentiate your context variables from your global ones. I'll show you an example in this simple two-screen app. To set a context variable, I've set this button's onSelect property to this. We use the update context function, and within squiggly brackets, set the name of your variable, loc first name, and then the value, in my case, I'm just hard coding it as my first name. On the output text label, I've set the text property to our context variable. Hold alt click on the button and execute this. You can see it gives us Nikolai as we would expect. Now let's set a global variable. On this onSelect property, we use the set function and without the squiggly brackets this time, we just name our variable and set the value. The text property for this label is set to our global variable. Hold alt and click to execute this. And as expected, we get my first name. Now let's go to screen two, and you can see our global variable carried over, but our context variable has an error because it isn't recognized in the context of this screen. Now let's set a context variable with the same name, but a different output. You can see the output is now Jimmy. Let's do the same for the global variable, and you can see the name changes to Jimmy. Now when we go back to screen one, you can see our global variable changed to Jimmy, but our context variable didn't. That's because they exist independently of each other in each screen, and you don't get an error if you use the same variable name. My advice to you is to use the context variables unless you need your variable value to be transferable through multiple screens. It'll keep your app more efficient and streamlined, especially in more complex apps where you might have to use the same variable but in a different context. I hope this helped you and let me know if you have any questions in the comments.